Hello, everybody. This is EDC Gear Guy here. Appreciate you tuning in. Lots of revolver porn here for you to look at. Um, these are, I brought these out because these are the six shooters that I will carry. This is not, this is an eight shooter. I just brought it out because that was what was on my hip today. Yes, I swear to God, I carry this thing <laughs> on occasion. Um, now, if you're like me, you love revolvers. Uh, if you're like me, you carry a revolver. If you're like me, it doesn't bother you that they hold six rounds or in the case of many of them, five rounds. Uh, but if you're like me, you hate speed loaders. You don't hate them. You love them, but you hate carrying them because they're obnoxiously huge and round and just unsightly. You got to carry them in your pocket to keep them out of view. Um, and then, you know, this amounts to pretty much the same as having a golf ball in your pocket. And what are you going to do? Carry just one? No. So you're going to have to carry two golf balls in your pocket. Well, but what about these belt holsters? And this is a cheap nylon one, which quite honestly prints less than these giant leather ones. Um, but even these, even with a really baggy t-shirt on, these will print and show. So plus, you know, putting a seatbelt over them, it's, it's, for me, it's an, it's a no-go. Uh, that leaves you with what? Well, you got SL variant, same problem. Awesome, super fast, wonderful speed loader, spring loaded, all that good stuff, but not the best for concealed carry. And they make them for five rounds. It's just definitely much easier. As you can see, it's much smaller, but carrying two of these in your pocket is going to be pretty rough. Um, but it's doable at least. But with a six shooter, which is what I prefer to carry, you're left with speed strips. And let's be honest, they should be called slow strips because they're not the fastest things in the world. In fact, I would say they're marginally faster than loading the ammunition into the, your cylinder one at a time. Um, and that leaves you with my option. This is the rapid loader. Comes in brown, comes in black. It's a very nice leather holster. It's high quality. This isn't like some cheap, you know, pleather holster. This is real leather, vegetable tanned. The rapid loader, as you can see, it stores flat. Um, it stores flat like a, like a speed strip does. The thing about the rapid loader is when you pull it out, it assumes the shape that is required to load fast and to load all at once. You're not speed stripping it, loading two at a time. You take your rapid loader and you load it in. And you pull. And you're loaded. Yes, it is really that simple. And yes, it works every time. And yes, despite all the moving parts, these things are tough as nails. They're made from um, high carbon steel and they're nickel plated. So this is not stainless. The, the links are not. This pull tab here is stainless because, well, that's the part that's going to get all the sweat and grease on it from you grabbing it. So they want that stainless. But this, these are, I have to be tough. So they're carbon steel. And uh, the rapid loader is just awesome. It's the, it's, the, it's the answer to your six-shooter speed loader blues if you want to carry your six-shooter. And I know there's not a lot of people that do, but we're out there, and I'm one of them. Um, so let's go over pros and cons of this rapid loader system. Cons. Uh, number one con is it only comes in 38 slash 357 for now. I don't, I haven't heard any plans of it going to be coming out in other calibers, but as it has become pretty popular, I'm willing to bet that it will. Um, what else? It only comes in six shoot, in six shots, in a six round variant. Or does it? At Kaztac.com, they are now machining because they're not manufactured as five shooters, but Kaztac is machining them into five shooter or five shot variants and uh, yeah i mean they work as you can see it doesn't load all the way in it goes about two-thirds in um it's going to do the same as with with your k frames will load about a halfway or two-thirds in and it's quite all right Oop, let's knock the camera as you can see it works just fine the same goes for uh your kimber k6 it will load about halfway two-thirds in um Point is, this thing will fit just about everything. Uh, all your Smith & Wesson K-frames, your, what is the larger ones? The L-frames, 357s, like the 
highway patrolmen and all that. It fits all of them. Uh, your model 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Uh, it fits all of your Taurus six shooters, including your snubbies, um, your 606, 65, 66, 80, 82, 668, or this 669. It fits all of all your Dan Wesson six shooters. It fits all of your um, your Ruger six shooters. No, I'm talking 36 or 30, 38, 357 for all these, obviously, uh, you know, the six series, your, your security six, your service six, which is what this is, your speed six. It fits all them beautifully. As you saw when I loaded it, it fits your, uh, your GP 100s in 357. It does not fit the six shot version of the Red Hawk in 357, the one that was made in the eighties, because obviously the cylinder is ginormous. And, um, you know, the holes in that cylinder are spread apart pretty far. So it will not fit that, but that's it. Pretty much everything else, Colt, King Cobra, Python, Trooper, Detective Special, um, all the other Colt six shooters, it fits that, uh, the German made, the Windicator, the Vindicator, it'll fit that. So pretty much it's an all around fits everything solution, which is a pretty, pretty big pro. To this. Uh, the pros are, are obvious. It fits a lot of different guns, almost all of them. It stores flat on your belt. It, I can tell you after five straight months of carrying two of these almost every day, uh, they haven't lost any spring. These are the originals that I got five months ago. And, um, you know, before I decided that I wanted to be in on this action and I wanted to promote these things because I love them and I use them. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video in the first place. So yeah, that's it. I mean, the cons are, like I said, it, it only takes 38, 357. So all you 44 mag carriers and, um, you know, 327 and, and, uh, 45 Colt, sorry about your luck. But, um, like I said, if these continue to be as popular as they have been, I would imagine that it would be lucrative enough to make them as well. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention here. Well, let's, let me get some, some rounds together here. I'll just steal them from this. So anyway, to give you a quick tutorial, how does it load? Now it doesn't, you don't just drop them in like you do with a round speed loader. It's more like loading a speed strip. You have to hyper extend each link on it and then pop it in. But I mean, again, it's not like it's difficult or anything loads up pretty simply you just want to make sure that you're get you it is possible to get them in there kind of like on a diagonal position and so it's, what i do is i spin them if they spin then they're incorrectly and and you're not you'll have nothing to worry about and then you simply take it and load it up into its holster and that's that uh, another cool plus about these holsters if you do not have a five so I five shooter made and you do get a six shooter and you get the case, you can load your speed strips in these and it holds them well. So there is that. This little, you know, bonus with the whole system. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. You know, this, uh, this the EDC Gear Guy channel, we will be doing all this kind of cool stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else. Along with, you know, Everything else, guns, knives, flashlights, weapon lights, prepping, how-tos. Uh, we're, we're doing a segment uh, called The Armed Citizens, uh, where we'll read you those stories of people that use their guns to uh, effectively defend themselves across the United States. And, uh, you know, we appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.